This is part two of my Card Ultima Integrated video review. The reason for another video on the Ultima Integrated is because I really love this unit. And I missed mentioning a few important points in my first video. In this video, I'll list about 10 reasons why you should seriously consider this Ultima Integrated if you are in the market for a high-end amplifier. All my reasons are related to sound quality. Some I may have briefly mentioned in passing in the first video. Okay, first one, the dual feed forward error correction topology. Without going into too much details, a simpler way to explain this is that it works by detecting errors in the output signal of the amplifier. The source of these errors could be internal or external to the amp. The system is capable of predicting or anticipating these errors and adds a correctional signal before the error happens to reach the output stage and thus minimizing harmonic distortion. Now, Cord isn't the only OEM using this type of real-time error prediction and correction. Companies like Krell, Mark Levinson, uh, maybe even Macintosh have their unique approaches to monitoring and minimizing errors in signal amplification. But Cord's technology here appears to be more proactive, real-time, and thus more sophisticated in my opinion. Second reason is the power supply. Cord Electronics Ultra High Frequency Switching Power Supply stands out from other amplifier manufacturers using uh, switching power supplies. What makes Cord's tech stand out is that its power supplies operate at extremely high switching frequencies in the range of hundreds of kilohertz. Most other conventional switching power supplies operate in the tens of kilohertz. The higher frequency power supplies keep the noise well away from the audible range, whereas more conventional lower frequency switching power supplies may still introduce some interference into the audio signal. This is derived from John Frank's aerospace engineering background, where there is a necessity for ultra low distortion, high power supplies in small form factors. John Franks is Cord's chief engineer and owner. Uh, another reason is the Ultima is still a class AB amplifier with a sliding bias, meaning that it's operating in class A, the power supplies are always on at normal listening loads and moves into class B operation when there is a massive load increase uh, for power. The power rating is also very conservatively rated at 125 watts at eight ohms, and this doubles into four ohms, according to John Franks. And I say this is a very conservative estimate because usually, Cord amps measure significantly higher on a bench test than their published power ratings. So, what does ultra low harmonic distortion and clean power bring in terms of listening pleasure? High level listening composure. Bringing a decibel meter to the music party, I was recording 95 plus decibels of sound pressure in my large 10,000 cubic feet listening room and you cannot tell that it is this loud until someone tries talking to you when the music is playing. That lack of distortion makes everything sound so clear, fast and open at very high listening levels. Your ears will be in the trouble zone really quick with some of those transient attacks and you won't even realize it. So be careful with that volume knob. Low volume listening is also very enjoyable. There are times I use this amp in my upstairs listening room at night at low volume so as to not disturb my family. The details are all there and full sounding at low volumes as well. Another delightful thing is that I did not have to sit in my usual speed spot. With this amp powering my 4Pi speakers or my Vienna Acoustic Symphony Editions, I did not have to sit at the sweet spot. I know this is a speaker characteristic, but the amp seems to control the speakers so much better. And the lack of distortion made my speakers sound like as though 
I was in a live venue or in the recording studio even when listening at about 25 feet away. The only drawback is that I could not focus on any work while listening to music on this amp. I always kept getting drawn into the music. The other beautiful thing, preservation of timing. This is so key, so important in communicating the immediacy and emotion in music. Here's an example. The Flamenco Fever album. This album has fantastic dynamics on display. But what is uh, really important is the musical message that will move you. There is so much going on here. The flamenco stomps, the hand clapping, the acoustic guitar strings, the striking of the guitar body all come at great speed and wonderful melodies are woven in and out. The Ultima's timing strengths communicated the emotion in the musical message immediately from the first few moments of each track. Uh, another cool thing about Chord is that they make their own MOSFETs, program their own chips to have the maximum amount of direct control on the engineering and quality of the product. According to John Franks, their amps have solved several sonic issues for BBC Studios. I'm going to post a video card on my first take on the Chord Ultima and I invite you to watch it now. I go into a longer discussion uh, in that video about specific sound quality strengths with more album examples.